Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And BuzzFeed's in trouble. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk about BuzzFeed. We've talked about BuzzFeed in a couple other videos. Um, their search for cash, uh, they're not doing very well. BuzzFeed, the search for more money. The search for more money. Yeah, they're, they're not doing very well. They're trying to go public mm -hmm. uh, to raise some, some venture capital. Yeah, I remember we were talking, we did a whole video on that. We're like, we want venture capital for BuzzFeed. And the reason was because they wanted the, the SPAC deals. Yeah, yeah. Because their merchant, they wanted their merchandising stuff, and it was like sex toys and tasty, not to be confused. <laughs> not tasty sex toys. <laughs> yeah, they were basically trying to say that they were this e-commerce giant that, and you, you looked into it, and most of the their quote-unquote e-commerce was Amazon Yes, that's what I had said, yeah. yes. Absolutely ridiculous because they were trying to say, "Oh, we're not a, we're not just a blog. We're not a media company. We're a tech company." We I guess we're a tech company too because we had Amazon affiliate links on our blog. Yeah, right. Um, and you know, then we make merchandise. We're a tech company now. There we go. We've Wait, got... how is making sex toys and having the tasty food brand a tech company? I don't know. They were trying to rebrand themselves as a tech company, and, and some of the other media outlets were calling shenanigans on it. They're like, you are a clickbait farm. Yes, you're not, a te you're not a tech company. That's all you will ever be, and they're running out of money. They've been you know, laying off a bunch of people. They bought the Huffington Post. They laid a bunch of those people off, and it just seems like they're sort of... Uh, Delaying the inevitable. How much did they pay for that wall with Win Cute and OMG? I know, right? I mean, that was, I bet they spent some money on that. Can't everybody work from home now? Pretty Can't much. You just send them home and they can just have their, yeah, it'd be a lot cheaper than, than oh, running wow. some New just, York office, right? I just thought it said. Okay, before we get into any further. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. Uh, over 243,000 subs. Woo! Not as many as BuzzFeed. No. But it's just us. But ours, we at least know we're legitimate. Yeah. Uh, BuzzFeed, <laughs> BuzzFeed kind of uh, blew in like a hurricane in the uh, uh, 2012, 2013, I think. And they, they you know, came about because of venture capital. We've, we've talked about how so many of these media outlets popped up seemingly overnight, and a lot of them were propped up with venture capital. Well, they were another one that had their own generator for headlines yeah, and clickbait yeah. videos and things like that. They would generate, they would look at the algorithm to see what the most searched stuff was to try to make sure that they, they created content tailored. Yeah, that's that's another reason that they're supposedly a tech company. Yeah, that's, that's the only thing I could think of. Is their clickbait headline generator tool. Yeah, that's they, what they're proud of. Yeah, yay, go BuzzFeed. <laughs> um... So anyway, yeah, they've been in trouble. Uh, they just talked about, let's see, this was in February. They, yes. they were bragging about how their e-commerce sales were up by 67% last year. BuzzFeed is going to become a digital shopping mall. But wasn't that like all the marketplace wasn't just like Amazon referral links and stuff? Most of it was Amazon referral links. They have some other brands that they were oh, yes. selling, you know, t-shirts and junk. All I know is Tasty. Tasty. And of course, you know, they're going to sell BuzzFeed branded vibrators. Mm -hmm. You know, sex That's, toys. They put the buzz in. Put the buzz in BuzzFeed. <laughs> anyway, uh, that should be, you know, buzz feel. That should be buzz feel buzz. Buzz feel, no. Buzz feel. So they were bragging about that. And the whole reason they were doing this was to try to, you know, get some interest in, in uh, you know, from venture capitalists, right? Bean feed. Well, what? <laughs> I said bean feed. <laughs> oh, I thought you, I thought you said queefy. No. <laughs> Wasn't that oh that? Oh, my God. They need to do that. That was that. <laughs> That that was that Sorry. video service. No, that was Quibi. That was Quibi. Queefy. <laughs> Queefy is the adult version of that. Oh, my God. That's beautiful. And Quibi oh only God. lasted like three months. It was horrible. It was like, what are you thinking? <laughs> if you guys didn't last, if you have a Queefy that lasts for three months, you've got problems. <laughs> so you should see, see a doctor. A doctor. <laughs> anyway, this dropped today. Uh, the other shoe has dropped. Uh, BuzzFeed's commerce slowdown undercuts its, its investor pitch ahead of stock listing. So they're ready to go public. They're like, this is it. This is the Hail Mary pass, right? We're going to raise $200 million. I could say SPAC. It just sounds... SPAC. It sounds like something... Oh my God, I stepped in SPAC. <laughs> That's what's left after you use the uh, BuzzFeed branded vibrator. <laughs> oh my God, where'd all the SPAC come from? <laughs> So queefy. So anyway, queefy. Continue. <laughs> um, anyway, the other shoe dropped because they 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 bottomed out on e-commerce, right? So BuzzFeed unveiled its planned deal to go public last June. It's pitched to investors centered around the high growth potential of its commerce business. 
You know, they had, you know, this is an ad week for crying out loud. Um, I'm sure it cost them a lot. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, BuzzFeed, like many other media companies, no, no, they're a tech company, makes money by inserting links to merchant websites in its articles. They make links by inserting things. It's a, way, money by inserting things. it's a way for media companies to participate in the rapidly growing online shopping market and to diversify away from the highly competitive digital ad market that constitutes their main so business. So basically, they use referral links Amazon and, and, affiliate and, links. and direct like ad sales. Yes. It's what, you know, like any other blog. BuzzFeed's optimistic projections about the potential of its commerce business was undercut earlier this month when the company revealed that revenue growth in that area had slowed dramatically in the third quarter, and that the fourth quarter was showing similar I, trends. Well, isn't that convenient? Because that's around the time that all the ad revenue started dropping. Yeah, so I can tell you, uh, as as people who own multiple blogs, uh, there's something going on with banner ad revenue all the way around, and mm -hmm. I think it's uh, has something to do with Google because they have changed their algorithm. They're trying to get rid of tracking cookies and all this other stuff, and I can tell you. Um, I mean, we're we're fine, but there has been a definite drop in banner ad revenue mm -hmm. uh, across the board. Significant and drop. Comparing notes with other blog owners, and they're like, "Yeah, like this is you know Q4, everything is supposed to ramp up, and it's it's like down to half of what it was before." Right. So and so you have to wonder when this is having this huge growth hit around the third and fourth quarter if they're they're, they're if they're tech company I'm using air quotes here if their tech company relies on competitive digital ad market as yeah. their business then you got a problem yeah and uh here's the thing you know third and fourth quarter if you're you know doing e-commerce that is actually your busiest time mm -hmm. of year you'd think people would be buying all kinds of that's shit, the first thing i thought of uh buzzfeed's due to go public next week it's likely going to be its overall revenue growth projections for 2021, but because of faster than expected growth in advertising, not commerce. I, I highly doubt this. BuzzFeed blamed supply constraints and labor shortages affecting the retail sector for the commerce slowdown. What? Who, everybody's blaming that, though. Everybody, but, but, but supply constraints, what's that have to do with anything if they're a tech company and they're digital and it's all, you know? This is, yeah, get this. Here's a rival. Rival media executive Bustle, oh, Bustle, okay. yep, Bustle Digital Group CEO Brian Goldberg told the information on Friday that some publishers have gotten way ahead of themselves in telling the commerce story. Digital publishers are advertising businesses, yes. he said, and will thrive when they focus on their core business. Um, no, they're a tech company because they sell vibrators. <laughs> commerce is a meaningful secondary business, Goldberg said. The pursuit of commerce revenue is a marathon, not a sprint, and it must be treated as a marathon. It's because they didn't intend to focus on that. They're like, what do we need to do or say to get suckers to give us That's just it, to get suckers money. to give us the money. You know, Goldberg's what comments. Who do we have to vibrate to get the SPAC? Who do, oh, God. <laughs> who do we have to buzz to get Apollo SPAC over here? There you go. Even better. Let the SPAC flow. Goldberg's comments reveal concerns within the digital media sector about how BuzzFeed is pitching its business to investors. That has significance for rivals because mm -hmm. companies like Bustle, uh, Group 9 Media, and Vox have almost as much at stake. And BuzzFeed's a listing as the company does itself. They're all trying to get this venture capital. Mm -hmm. If BuzzFeed's public debut goes well, that will likely make it easier for others like Bustle to go public. Uh, the commerce pitch is complicated for a number of reasons. Uh, yada, yada. Oh, here. They talk about, yeah, aside from how tied the commerce businesses to online shopping trends, it's also affected by the moves of big tech. This year, Google changed its search algorithm in a previously unreported way that reduced by 20 to 30 percent the number of people who visited media web pages that include links to merchant sites, uh -huh. said several media executives. Call it. I hadn't even read this, guys. I'm going along with it with you. And, and I, th that was what I thought of. Yeah, and they even report it's that. It's almost like we know what we're talking about. Almost. Oh. Yeah, I can tell you. I can tell you for a fact that the uh, the ad revenue is is slowing down, and it has something to do with Google. Again, you depend on Google for search traffic, and you also depend on Google for your advertising. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like it's not it's not a good situation to be in. No. You're basically working for Google. And if Google doesn't like you for some reason, then you're screwed. Yep. Uh, Google plays a role because people frequently find articles about products. So if you're doing product-focused articles, Google is probably punishing you because there, there, you know, there are probably sites out there, and I know there are sites out there that basically the purpose of the site is to get you to click on affiliate links 
to buy mm -hmm. products. They do stories buy... that are mass. They're, they're actually product placement or commercials masquerading as stories. Yeah. Um, places like BuzzFeed are going to get hit uh, extra hard because that's what they do for most everything. Yep. Um, growth in its commerce operations slowed 14% from 80% in the first two quarters of the year. BuzzFeed said it expects commerce business to be affected in the fourth quarter by the same factors, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that suggests the combined BuzzFeed complex, they bought complex, like they didn't have any money, but they bought complex, uh, which is a sports, sports site. Uh, commerce revenue growth in 2021 will fall well short of the 67% oh, growth the company projected. That's a 67% growth, and they're going to fall well short of that? Yep. Oh, that's not good. This is what they're pitching to the investors to get this SPAC money. Well, advertising is likely to grow faster than expected. Um, if they're doing direct ad sales, maybe. Yeah, but, that's the only thing I could think of. Yeah, that performance would complicate BuzzFeed's hopes of increasing commerce revenues at a 55% compound annual growth, et cetera, et cetera. Basically... They're not going to look very good. They're not going to have that curb appeal to investors, and they might not get their two hundred million. And then if they don't, it's going to hurt other sites. They're trying to do the same thing because they're going to be like, "We risked it on them." So that's one the good thing about being first. If you're first, people will risk it on you. But if you don't deliver, then they're not going to risk it on everybody else. But you got them there first. Yeah. So come if, early, I guess. If this <laughs> use Buzzfeed to come early. <laughs> Let I knew the you, stack I knew, flow. I knew you'd like that. I, I knew you'd like that. Uh, shares of the newly public BuzzFeed are expected to start trading on December 6th. Mark the calendars. If you want to lose some money. <laughs> I was going to say, how much are you going to buy? You know, and yeah, the stock market's in shambles now because of Omicron. This is the wrong time <laughs> to be doing this. Other digital media firms are waiting the debut with anxiety. They're opening the curtain for everyone to see how hard this business is and how investors are squeezing everyone to make it profitable. They're, they're opening the curtain and people are going to see just how scammy these websites actually mm -hmm. are. Because when you're publicly traded, you have to Unless you've answer. been following us, then you've known for a while. Yeah. <laughs> so and we've been calling it up for a while. You're going to see these companies are all smoke and mirrors because they, they grew too you fast. look at the man behind the curtain. But think of all these, I mean, they popped up overnight, BuzzFeed and Vox and, uh, you know, within three, four years, all these new blogs popped up with seemingly infinite money uh, in Vice. And then Disney lost like $400 million on Vice, Universal lost a whole bunch of money on Vox. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're losing money. They were propped up with venture capital. They were so hoping. So they're trying to get more venture capital. They're trying to get more venture capital. I mean, when does it end? When do you cut off? And then I, I guess that's the, 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 the definition of filling up because it's like they keep giving them money. Yeah. And they keep losing money. It's like, when are they going to learn that maybe this isn't the way to do it? Yeah, and they're already talking. They're already going on a shopping spree. Um, they're going on a shopping spree? Yeah, they said that uh, BuzzFeed isn't done with acquisitions. Their CEO is already talking about what to acquire next, yeah. according to people familiar Ask with Disney the situation. Ask Disney how that works. Yeah, you get too big and you've got too many plates to spin. You know, you're gonna start dropping some. Maybe you should, you know, wait until you get this stuff under control and stop hemorrhaging and not coming in at 67 percent growth and figure out why before you start taking on a bunch of other things. Well, it's like Vox. I mean, they they want to be like a, a television studio now or Vice. Mm -hmm. You know, they want to produce. TV. Well, a lot of these companies, what they do is when they're trying to get this money, they're trying to sell it off. They yeah. will suddenly grab a bunch of other things just to look like they have more than they do because then you can ju you, you can make it look like, you know, you have more than you do for a little while before it all goes through. And then you have to see how much in debt you are by doing that. Like it isn't show, it's not always visible at first. Um, so they buy up what they can then sell it off, hurry, sell it off. And then the person that gets it, it's like, well, shit. Yeah. And, I've seen it with other companies too. Yeah. And you get, you know, suckers like Bob Iger come along mm -hmm. and buy Fox and he bought a, a bag full of beans. You know, there's some good things in it, but now they're trying to leverage everything they have in there just to make money off of it. Yeah. it's So I think what they're hoping for, all these companies, what they're hoping for, and this is why they got venture capital in the first place, is they're hoping some idiot is going to come along with billions of dollars and uh, everybody gets a big fat. You know, payday, well, there's an idiot but... coming around billions of dollars. I would say send them our way. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, I'm like, you know, we'll, we'll tell you that, that that the sky is green and that cows fly if you give us a, a billion dollars. So good luck with that. I don't know. I don't. I don't think this is going to go the way they think it's going to go. And if it doesn't go well, this could be a domino effect. Mm -hmm. If BuzzFeed lands flat in its face when they go public, that means that. You know, Vox and Vice. It's going to hurt and, all of them, which is why they're flipping yeah, out. Yeah, it's going to be a domino effect. Or if BuzzFeed goes public and now it's like, oh, shoot, you know, the stockholders actually have some indication of how 
this business runs and it's really iffy, you know, it's not a good investment. The flip side is if it does do well, it doesn't mean that it's going to work out well for the other companies that want to come in because BuzzFeed no. already got the lion's share of it. Some people might want to try to grab in on the other ones, but they already did it first. Good luck with that. I, I somehow think we're going to see more BuzzFeed layoffs in the, Probably. the future. So we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. All right. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.